Hey guys, in this video we want to explain to you how to replace the battery on the JBL Live 400 BT. So in this video it's going to be really simple, so we're not expecting you to have any special tools uh, so that everybody can replace this. So if you do have the uh, tools to make this a better repair, then I encourage you to do this. But we are explaining it the way that everybody can do this. Okay, so the battery is located in the left ear cup that's the ear cup with the charging port on the bottom and this is the one that we want to open up so first we're going to take some kind of a sharp prying tool because we have to take this plastic ring here off so we're going to pry underneath there and uh, it's the ring is held in place by three plastic clips as well as some glue so we have to first uh, break that blue loose and so by prying on here on the top, there's also one of the clips already in this position. And then you can carefully keep prying it open as it opens up. So the second clip is right here in this corner and then the third clip is on the right corner. And so you see here the uh, glue dots here. So this may take you a couple of minutes if you want to be really careful without scratching the plastic. And then underneath here, we have another small plastic ring so we have to take this off first before we're going to remove those four screws that we see here already and we're going to need a fairly small Phillips screwdriver in order to remove all these screws and once we're done with that we have to take a look at the top of the ear cup here see these uh, additional screws here one on the right side one on the left side and these have some weird shapes so these are some triangle shaped screw heads and uh, you can just use a very very small flat blade screwdriver Hope you, hopefully you have one of those that fits right into uh, this triangle shape and then you can just with a lot of pressure against the screw you can still remove it so you can still t turn it out just like this here and then of course we have to do the same thing on the second side as well and the second screw is actually really difficult to get to so you have to kind of swivel the ear cup inwards and then you can somewhat get uh, access with the uh, screwdriver to it so this is probably the worst part of the whole job to get this screw out and after we've done that now we can finally remove the cover here of the ear cup but we want to do this really carefully because there are a bunch of wires also connected to the uh, cover and also the battery is located in here. So first of all, let's have a close look, close zoom me in here on the uh, writing of the battery so you can find exactly the batteries that you need to replace this. I'm also going to put a link to the uh, to a replacement battery here in the uh, comment section below. So if you need some help finding one, you can find it, find a link there. So now we do have to remove this battery and we have to do this really carefully because you see that is more, more cables going underneath the battery. So there's a small PCB. Actually, you have to make sure that this is not going to be damaged. So we want to at best stay away from the center of the battery. So just try to pry it loose on the edges. And so you see here now the dimensions of that board that's underneath there. And you can also see there's like a piece of uh, double-sided tape or some foam tape. And we're going to peel this off of the original battery. And we're just immediately going to place this back here into the uh, cover so that we can reuse this later on when we install the new battery. And at this point we're running into a little bit of a problem if we don't have the professional equipment like a soldering iron in order to remove these wires here from the board. So you can see here there's no simple connector that we can unplug but the wires here are soldered onto the board so um, if you don't have that soldering iron and the equipment and not the knowledge then what I suggest is you just cut the wires here relatively close to the battery. So you don't need the battery anymore, so it doesn't matter how short we uh, cut those wires to the battery. In my case, I'm just going to show you how to do this. I'm not going to actually replace the battery yet. So I'm going to cut this further down uh, so that I have more access here and can work easily. So, and I'm going to cut those wires here one by one. I'm not going to cut them 
at the same time in order to avoid uh, creating a short and that would be that may be dangerous so now again you should be cutting off those wires far closer to the battery and now what we're going to do next is we're going to start removing the insulation that's around those wires so we're doing maybe around a quarter inch of the insulation that we're going to remove so we're going to cut just through the insulation not through the wire so you have to be really careful here doing this and we're going to repeat this for all three wires so that it eventually looks like this here and then we're going to do the same thing with the uh, new battery as well so uh, you have the three leads the three wires on your new battery and uh, you want to cut those uh, insulators off a little bit uh, but we're going to do this one by one so that we don't accidentally shorten the battery out so that may be dangerous so you want to remove just a little bit of the insulation of the first uh, wire here and now in case you do have a soldering iron then you want to actually do this a lot better then you want to solder these wires together so now the two red wires uh, but if you don't have that kind of equipment uh, then all we can do here is just simply twist them together. So you're going to spread the single strands a little bit and then you can twist them together uh, as much as you can and that will hopefully or uh, potentially work. This will hold uh, and not become loose over time. And I would also suggest to put some glue over this uh, or the open metal parts here so that it's now insulated and uh, then Instead, right now, in this video, I'm going to just use some tape. I'm going to put some tape over here so that we don't accidentally um, shorten the wires out. But of course, this kind of tape usually is not that great. So it's not going to last forever and eventually it's going to come loose. So I would uh, suggest not to use tape here. Uh, really just uh, put some glue over it, put some, uh, some hot glue, some super glue, and then maybe use some electrical tape to uh, make sure that uh, the connections, the two, the different wires are not going to uh, touch each other over time. If you're wondering, I was planning on uh, soldering this after I'm done with the video, since I have a soldering iron at home. And then now we're going to continue this with the other two wires. So we're going to continue first with the yellow one. We're going to do exactly the same thing here. And then afterwards, we're going to do this again with the uh, black one and once we're done with that then uh, I would suggest to secure all the three wires together again also so uh, I would actually use some uh, hot glue to uh, really blob them all together and make sure they don't become loose and then now it's a good time to check if our work actually succeeded so let's try to power on the headphones by pushing the power button on the other head ear cup so we should be seeing the uh, white LED light up again. And since this seems to work fine, then we can power off the headphones again and reassemble everything. So first we're going to put the battery back in place. So there's this uh, sticky tape on the uh, inside of that uh, cover. So there's a specific square that the battery should be positioned into. And you want to make sure that you really hit that uh, so I'm going to tw turn the uh, cover here this way. This is the easiest way. Uh, make sure that the uh, cables are not somehow uh, caught in anything. And then just press the new battery against that tape. <clears throat> and now we can put the cover back on. And we make sure that there's no wires sticking out of the uh, case. So we just press it firmly shut. And then we're going to start by putting in the screws that are on the uh, outside here. Remember to not tighten those screws too much because we're screwing a metal screw into plastic. So if you tighten them too much, the plastic is eventually going to break and then the screw is not going to work at all. So then the last step is here to put in the uh, those triangle screws on the top. Those go in a lot easier actually than they came out. So this shouldn't be a problem by now. Then we have that small plastic ring. Uh, if you look really closely, then you see those are, those have like three plastic tabs here. See the little pins sticking out. And those pins have to go into the corresponding holes on the ear cup. So just observe 
check where those holes are and then just line them up. And then we should be able to position this ring correctly relatively easy. And then at last we have the uh, bigger plastic ring. So this one also has three clips. Uh, so those go into those holes there, line them up correctly. If you want you can just add some little bit of glue to it if you're afraid that ring is going to pop off later on. And then just press it on firmly and we're all done. Okay, so this was already it for the video. Hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, then please leave a message below.